cool cats. I hope this video finds you well. Today we're having a look at this. It might look like a book, but it's actually a Blu-ray. After watching Godzilla vs Kong, which I quite enjoyed, it's a little bit silly. The plot doesn't make a lot of sense, but it was a fun time to be had. I wanted to have a look at the very original Godzilla, which is... So I looked online and I found that they did this, which comes with all 15 films from the Showa era. And it wasn't cheap, but considering the price, it's only about a £10 per Blu-ray or per film. Because you don't get 15 Blu-rays, even though there's 15 films. So anyway, that's the um, the artwork, which I quite like. Uh, and then you got the back there. And then this comes off. And then you, there he is, look. Is he walking on water like Christ? So, and then we open it, we open it up. We've got a big picture. That's cool, isn't it? It's like comic book, like old, like like very old comic book, which I quite like. And then we got the Reign of Destruction, which is basically by Steve. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, mate, so sorry about that. And then on this, and then it just details a little bit, what's this? Well, Godzilla has evolved with the times. The Shower series was a whole, is undoubtedly the foundation of this ever-growing pop culture phenomenon. And then we have, here it is, Gojira, as it was as he is known in Japan, because I also got Shin Godzilla with this, which I watched at the weekend, which is very good, so if you haven't seen it, watch the end of this first, and then go and watch that. It tells you there uh, what year it came out. In 1954, I was barely a twinkle in the universe. And it runs for 96 minutes, black and white, and it's quite cool. You get like the this is like what you'd usually see on the back of a Blu-ray box telling you about the film. And then you have the picture on this side. And then we have this one. Godzilla Raids again. I don't know what that is. There's uh, like two of him. I've not seen any of these films yet. But it's going to take me a while to get through all 15. And this one came out in 1955. Which was... And then we have King Kong versus Godzilla. See, they swapped it around for the new one. And there's and there he is. Look, doing a flip, tail flip. And then we have Mothra versus Godzilla from 1964. I love the design of Mothra in that picture. That looks so cool. I don't really didn't really like the design of him in. Um, King of the Monsters. But the sound effects in King of the Monsters was amazing. I have proper surround sound, so. And then this one, this one's got a very funny artwork. Ghidorah and the Three-Headed Monster from 1964. And then we have him doing that silly pose that he does. Invasion of the Astral Monster. There's a spaceship. We haven't got to aliens in the new monster universe yet. And this one is from 1965. And then on the next one we have... I can't pronounce that. Ebra? 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 Horror of the Deep. It's like a crust, the crustacean. From 1966. And then we have the son of Godzilla. What the hell is that? What is that? We don't know what that is. And that's from 1967. And then we have Destroy All Monsters. What's that? Destroy All Monsters? That sounds like something similar. I don't know. And that's from 1968. And then we have All Monsters Attack. Son of Godzilla Returns from 1968. 
from 1969. And then we have Godzilla vs. Hedra from 1971. Not really like that. That's not a very good picture at all, is it? And then we have Godzilla vs. Gigan from 1972. That's quite a cool picture. What is that? That's a weird looking picture. Some ninjas fighting. Godzilla vs. Megalon. I think that's how it's pronounced. I am no good at reading or pronouncing things. 1973. With a very angry look. And then we have Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Oh, it's such a cool picture. Oh, I'd love that on my wall. That's amazing. From 1974. And then, The Terror of Mecha Godzilla from 1975. Kaka Kaboom Italy. What? Kaboom Italy? Kaboom Italy? I don't know. And that is it. That's all you're getting. That's quite a thick. That's quite a thick book. And they're nice, thick, glossy pages as well. Like a, that's like a matte finish on that one. Why would you? Where does that picture go to though? That's like half of a picture, and it doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Strange. And then we have the discs themselves. Uh, you have these are really, really awkward and difficult to get out of the actual thing. Look, how do you get them out? Oh, like that. You have to sort of bend it, and then it flicks up. So we've got disc one there. That's just got Godzilla on it. That has two films on it. Then we have this one. This has one, two. That's got three films on it. Disc four. It's not focusing very well, is it? That's got three. Five. That has two films on it. Disc six. That has two films on it. Disc seven. Look. With both Mecha Godzilla films. And then last, but definitely not least. We have an 8th disc, which has no films on it, just supplements, which was special features, which tells you here what they are. You've got audio commentaries, international dub tracks, you've got interviews from the Guild of Japan, it shows you the special effects, new archive interviews, more interviews, illustrated audio essays, trailers, plus a Lashley and, and the book, obviously. So there you have it. Godzilla, the Showa era films, all 15 of them. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly am loving this and I'm going to watch all them films. See you all later. Enjoy yourselves out there. Look after each other, and I'll see you very soon. Cheery bye.